Thanks for checking out the Psych Hope Self-Help Podcast, now on YouTube. Our podcast launched on most major podcast directories back in December of 2022. And as of December 2023, we're making our episodes available for all the lovely people who prefer listening to podcasts on YouTube. There may be times when the dates don't match up, so thank you in advance for your understanding. Please refer to the video description for links to any resources discussed during the show. We'll be sure to point you in the right direction. Earlier this holiday season, the Psych Hope Self-Help Podcast hosted the 12 Days of Holiday Stress Relief Audio Summit. For 12 days straight, I had the honor of interviewing compassionate women, all thought leaders with a background in mental health, with the goal of understanding how they see holiday stress impact the women they serve. And I was sure to ask for all their tips on how to navigate the many forms that holiday stress can take. If you weren't able to join us live, then I have some good news for you. All the talks from the summit are waiting for you in our private podcast. Just head on over to psychope.com slash 12 days to get access to the 12 days of holiday stress relief audio summit private podcast. There's still plenty of time to listen to all the interviews and benefit from the insights and tips that were shared. Let us guide you through a transformative journey, helping you navigate the holiday hustle and reclaim the joy of the season. Again, please visit psychhope.com slash 12 days to get your access to the summit or just click the link in the show notes. Hello and welcome. You're listening to the Psych Hope Self-Help Podcast, a space for women where psychology illuminates paths to healing hope and personal growth. I'm Dr. Jennifer McManus, a clinical psychologist, and I'll be your host. Each episode, we'll explore a different way to use psychology to enhance emotional wellness. Hope you enjoy the show. Hey there, it's episode eight. You're tuning in to the 12 Days of Holiday Stress Relief. Each day, we're exploring a different way to manage holiday stress. These are daily bite-sized episodes. On the fifth day of holiday stress relief, I want to remind you of the importance of self-care. During a time of year when we're so focused on the happiness of others, whether that's by getting a meaningful gift or hosting a memorable event, it's so easy to let our self-care go to the bottom of our list of priorities. Self-care is any activity that supports physical, psychological, emotional, social, and spiritual well-being. Self-care supports stress management, stress reduction, and enhancing overall well-being. Self-care can help with emotion-related effects of stress such as irritability or moodiness. Engaging in self-care activities can also help with symptoms of stress like headaches, indigestion, and problems with getting enough sleep. Self-care is an area where our mindset might get in the way though. It's not just because women are so busy that we don't prioritize self-care. All too often, we believe that self-care is selfish and everyone and everything else should come first. Well, I'm here to tell you that self-care is not selfish. I know it's a bit cliche, but self-care is similar to the your oxygen mask first warning we get when flying. It's quite necessary to take care of ourselves first through self-care, so we can pour into others at the level and in the ways we desire. We're better able to manage holiday stress when we engage in activities that we enjoy. Think about what you require as part of your holiday plans and what special actions, if taken, would help you to feel better. I'm treating yourself to a massage or a trip to the nail salon or some of my favorite self-care choices. There are plenty of self-care options that are totally free, though. 
Self-care could also be a spa day at home, complete with a bubble bath and candles. Other ideas for self-care this holiday season include volunteering for a charity you value or spending quality time with loved ones to recharge. Once you have decided which self-care activities would be helpful, it's time to make a commitment to doing them. Prioritize your well-being by scheduling your self-care activities. That's right. Put them on your holiday calendar. So which self-care activities are going on your calendar this holiday season? Thanks for listening to day five of the 12 days of holiday stress relief. Don't forget to follow or subscribe to the show wherever you're listening so you can tune in to the remaining episodes of this special series. The information shared on the Psych Hope Self-Help Podcast is done so with the understanding that it does not constitute professional help, nor is it a substitute for professional help. If you think you might benefit from more than self-help, there are resources listed in the show notes.